We have concentrations in information assurance. Okay, we also have a, a concentration that we're just now developing in um, mobile computing. And we have a third comp uh, a third uh, concentration that's in health informatics, security, and privacy. So, um, and then on the graduate uh, side. We also have a graduate concentration in information assurance, and we also have a, a new uh, master's program in secure software engineering. Undergrads in computer science have a great opportunity for research assistance. Close to 20% of undergrads are involved in research programs. If you're not an undergraduate research uh, assistant that's working on a funded research grant, we also, for the last three years, have received about uh, $30,000 a year. And so what that does is um, that gives us money. It's $30,000. We, we basically will uh, provide an assistantship to an undergraduate student to help develop uh, one uh, conference paper. Those opportunities have been huge for students like Sabra Neal. And I never saw myself at this day like about to be working towards my doctorate and you know, leaving my undergrad or even being someone in undergrad, you know, being on published graduate work or companies like the CIA and all these companies just looking at me is definitely a blessing that I never saw coming. Sabra is one of the top students in computer science and she credits an environment that was conducive to her excelling. I definitely love the fact that it's very family oriented, like it's very close knit, like all my professors know everyone, the secretary knows everyone's name. So that's definitely important and like good when it comes to, you know, deciding on a school because you want to feel comfortable when it comes to taking your classes, not being scared to ask questions. So that's definitely one thing that I would never change about my experience at A&T. Like I definitely love my department and how supportive they are. Our, our students are, are very important <laughs> to the faculty. You won't believe this, but, but a lot of times, you know, they're the first ones that are going to try out and jump out there with, with the new technology. Okay, so, so the thing is we also listen to our students. We, we watch our students, we look at what they're doing, what they're interested in um, to, to kind of help a faculty member kind of see where things are headed. It, it's just amazing when, when you look at computer technology. You know, what we strive to do is we try to, to get as much information about what's going on, what, what trends are, are, are hot, and, and try to, to get that information to our students. Students like Sabro will still be able to contribute to the department after graduation when they return as alums. They, they can come back and share experiences with our, with our undergraduates. That, that's very important because what we want them to be able to do, our undergrads, is we want them to have the, the knowledge of how they can get into um, an organization or um, to a company and we want them to ascend as quickly as possible in a position where they're making um, policy decisions. Um, the alumni can bring that back and, and help our students uh, move up the, uh, the corporate ladder uh, a lot quicker.